Welcome back to uh, Let's Play uh, Enclosure. As you recall in the last episode, oops, last episode we got the remaining ingredients for the seance to happen. Um, so we better go find Owen, and we know where he is to begin the seance. The room seems to be locked. I went into the wrong room. How silly of me. And the seance looks ready to begin. Well, Mike, did you manage to get the items I re uh, requested? Sure, surely did, Owen. Here they are. Thanks. Owen Carter takes the ashes, the blood, and the candles. He pours the ashes in a circle and places the candle on the edges, on, on, sorry, at the, its edges in an equable fashion. Next, Owen drips the blood on the center of the ashes. Finally, he lights the candles. Owen Carter raises his hand. Quiet, please. No, no, no one's talking. All the talking dies down. Everybody's looking at Owen Carter. We've gathered here tonight to summon the spirit of the Eskimo. I want us all to cl uh, want all to clear their heads and hold hands. Should be easy enough for me. Carter clears his throat. I command any spirit present in the station to show itself. Owen Carter says. Suddenly. Oh, what happened? What's this? All the lights have gone dead, Owen Carter says. My god, all the candles are blown out, Sarah cries out. Well, the room had the light on it before we lit the candles, so I don't know what's going on. Calm down, Mrs. Parker, I've got a flashlight with me, Wally Mayfield says. Click, click, click. That's strange, the flashlight isn't working, Wally Mayfield says. It's working fine early when I, uh, working fine when I tried it earlier. I don't like this one bit, Ben Green says. Whatever you do, don't break the circle, Owen Carter commands. It's getting quite cold in here, Dr. Benson says. You're, yes, you're right, Ben Green says. I feel it too. It's like an episode of uh, Most Haunted or something like that. Wait, be quiet. I thought I heard something, Sarah says. Everybody holds his or her breath, thus being able to hear the sound. Shh, shh. Spirit of the restless, uh, restless Eskimo, please reveal yourself, Omakata says, breaking the silence. Nothing has, seems to ha happen, ben, whisper, ben Green whispers. Quiet, please, Omakata says. Please give me a sign if you can hear me, the spirit. Owen Carter says. Still nothing, Ben Green mumbles. I don't think it's going to show itself tonight, people, Owen Carter says. Let's try tomorrow. Wait, what's it sound? Lisa Mayfield asks. I don't know, William Mayfield says, but it sounds like uh, the water pipes. Oh, kind of sound, sounds kind of like the water pipes. Water pipes? What water pipes, Owen Carter asks? The water pipe's connected to the sprinklers, Wally Mayfield answers. My god, what is this? Ben Green cries out. Seems the sprinklers have been turned on, Chin Song Lee says. The sprinklers? But how? Wally Mayfield asks. Well, the candles were on before. The water feels somewhat sticky, Dr. Benson says. It smells different too, you shout. Let's get out of here, quick. But the circle, we shouldn't break the circle, Owen Carter says, but no one's listening anymore. Like a raving herd, the party rushes out of the dark lab. Once outside, they discover what the water really was. Well, that's uncomfortable. Oil? It gave you a sign, all right, Carter, Ben Green says. I'm covered with oil for crying out loud. I, I don't understand. My father told me never, he never found oil here, William Mayfield says. Don't worry about that. Well, how did the oil get into the water pipes, you say? There's some kind of presence here, Mary. And Mary. That's for sure, Lisa McIntyre says. Let's not keep the oil on too long, ladies and gentlemen, Charles Benson says. It's not a, it's not all that conductive to the skin. You're probably right, Dr. Benson. Let's call it a day, people. Tomorrow Frank and I will get to the bottom of this, Willie Mayfield says. We all get to the bottom of this, Owen Carter says. It seems to me we just had our first official contact with the spirit. Well, second for me, because I'm the chosen one. Some contact, Ben Green says. The party agrees to Dr. Dick Benson's advice. Everybody look, uh, looks up their quarters, uh, quarter showers, and finally hits the sack. The following morning. Although you sleep somewhat restless, you feel quite rested. Is that how that works? No wonder you've been sleeping far into the day. It's way past noon. And we've missed everything. You wonder where Sarah is. Well, they better take another shower. Because we smell like shit. Okay, shower. Take a nice refreshing shower. And we got another point for that. And 
Since we've looked in this bin yet, we'll take a look. You'd rather not. Shit, in the bin. Come again? No, well. Can't blame a guy for trying. Get dressed. You take your clothes and put them on. And another point. We're just rolling for this game. Oh, no one's here to greet us this morning, so we'll take a look around. But first, we should grab breakfast if they're still serving it at the sale. Or at lunch, at least. Let's see what's going on. It seems almost too quiet after that big event. And no one's here. How sad and lonely. No one's here either. God, everyone just ditches poor old Mike. God, even Watson's not at the usual quarters. There he is. Having a smoke? Talk to Watson. Oops. Watson. Hi oh, Watson, how are things? Three boxes of raisins, six boxes of chocolates. Uh, hi Mike, I'm fine. What are you doing, Watson? I'm making a list, Mike. I'm filling out food supplies. It's all that more convenient when I'm trying to decide what to cook for dinner. Oh, that's a clever idea. Thank you, Mike. I'll carry on talking to him. What is this for dinner, Watson? Six cheeses, seven cans of beans. Sorry, what were you saying, Mike? Ha <laughs> ha no, never mind. You already gave me an answer already. Ha ha ha. I don't know what we're having, but... I did? Oh well, could be. Uh, Watson? Please, Mike, let me file the supplies. Okay, Watson, I'm sorry. It's okay, Mike. And that's what Watson has to say this morning. Uh, the cat seems quite content now. Actually, we'll give it a friendly hello. Leave him, he looks so sweet when he's sleeping. And hums, too. Fucking punch the cat. Watson's room has nothing really in it other than white suits for some reason. Um. Oh, there's a group meeting. We don't want to interrupt, or do we? Talk to Lisa. She's having a discussion with Owen Kai and Charles Benson and, com and completely ignores you. Talk to Owen. He's bu uh, busy talking and hardly notices you. Talk to Benson. He's busy talking and hardly notices you. Well, we'll punch Lisa in the face. Well, they're too busy, so we'll find who else is not busy. Frank's not in his usual quarters. So we'll grab a drink of water. Gotta keep that fluid and take up. Jesus, this place is a mess. There's Frank and uh, William. And the place is definitely a mess. In fact, we'll be kind and we'll clean the room. Come again? Ah. I tried. Talk to Frank. Good friend now. Hey Bates, uh, this place is a mess, isn't it? Well, that's what they just said. Sure is Goodman, and it really seems to have upset, upset William here. As he does look kind of pale. Whoa, we struck it rich. Look at all that oil. We're millionaires. It'll be a hell of a job cleaning this place, Bates. You're right, personally, I don't think we should bother. We weren't using it anywhere. Fair enough. How's the chopper coming along? Uh, I'm working on it, Goodman. Don't worry. I don't think he's doing anything. There's a lot of oil here. Yes, you can say that again. Sell oil. Get oil. It's not yours for the tech. Ah, oh, come on. Uh, anyway, talk to Bates again. And he's saying the same thing. So we'll talk to uh, William. William, Mike, you okay? You look kind of pale. Uh, what was that, Mike? I wasn't really listening, I'm sorry. That's okay, tell me what's the matter. It's oil, Mike, my father. What about your father? My father told me the sightings he experienced when uh, were tended by oil. Which... There's a glaring inconsistency saying that his father never struck oil here, and, well, the sightings are, you know, linked to oil kind of suggests he did strike oil to some extent. So, something's up. You mean this oil is a sign of the Eskimo ghost? That's right, Mike. I just thought it was all in my father's imagination, but now, I think the ghost is quite real, William. I'm afraid you're right, Mike. Uh, William, I... Oh my god, it's all true, all this oil. Just let him be, Mike. He's still quite upset. And we all let him be. We learned something new, but it doesn't seem to make too much sense, really. No one's in this room for a change. Um, I guess people might be in their rooms for all we know. But we'll take a quick look outside. Grab our coat. And head out into the 
White Wonderland. Touch the music there. And talk to uh, Sarah. Hey, sweetheart. What? Well, hey, have you been crying? So, yes, Mark, it's just. Calm down, beautiful. Take a deep breath. Tell me what's the matter. I'm quite upset that we find there's a real spirit here, so. Shh, don't cry. Give her a kiss, that seems to calm her down a bit. Slap her around. Slap some sense into her. Okay. Anyway, we'll carry talking to her, see if she's calmed down, stop being irrational. Now tell me what the problem is. Well, now we've found a ghost for real, I'm afraid William Mayfield and everybody else will find out about us, Mike. What do you mean, Sarah? They were nothing but a bunch of frauds, Mike, that's what I mean. Again, Sarah starts to cry. You put her arms around and wipe the tears away. Don't know how you can do both at the same time, but okay. Calm down, Sarah. Don't worry. Oh, but I do worry, Mike. Owen Carter was asking me about my profession the other day. I just told him I was in a bit of a hurry and had no time to talk. Just another lie. I know, Sarah. It's not easy, but think of the ten thousand dollars. That's a lot of monkey uh, money. I know, Mike, and we can surely use it. But I, uh, all those lies. Every time I'm fed up with it. Hush, darling. This will be the last time. I promise. When we get back home, we'll move and I'll start up my own little antique shop I told you about. Well, I don't think $10,000 is that much money. I, I guess you're right, Mikey. So, this will be the last time? Yes, it is. Chin up, beautiful. Promise? I promise. Snug. <coughs> Come back inside, Sarah. It's, really, it's very cold out here. Just leave me, Mikey. I want to uh, think things over for a while. I understand, darling. Love you. Love you too, Mikey. Well, we've got a beautiful relationship there. Let's see if anything else is going on outside. Maybe we can spot the ghostly apparition once more. Seems to be quiet though, so maybe we're not in luck this time. Nope, it's all real quiet on the western front. Eastern front, northern front, southern front. It's all quite everywhere. Anyway, we'll head back inside and catch up with the people we haven't quite done that yet with. Though everyone does seem quite busy today, so maybe we'll miss a few people. Uh, look, helicopter. This helicopter looks pretty damaged by your landing skills. Let's just hope uh, Frank knows how to fix it. And we'll take a look at the barrels as well. One of the barrels seems to be have opened recently. Ooh, sh wow. Look, in barrel. Open barrel. And barrel. Look, inside barrel. Well, I don't know what you do there, but... We might find out later on. Once I figure out the... It's kind of the problem with... Uh, text past the games that you got to have the exact words um, to complete what you need to do and sometimes it can be look inside look at look within you know it's uh, not easy to figure out what you have to do next but again that can wait till later on it's just all part of the mystery seems to be in any of their rooms today, even though we're all looking at rooms that we know are currently unattended. Forwards of plants sting you. You feel kind of funny. Whoops. You have no idea you can moonwalk. What the? And that's what happens if you touch the plant that you shouldn't touch. A brain shoots out of our head. How about that, eh? Mother Nature sure works in mysterious ways. But nevertheless, you make a nice fountain. Isn't that your brain frilling on top? That's it for this episode of Enclosure. Catch you next time.